Thanks for choosing an easy charging robot. Inside the box you will find a back plate with a tool for opening the charger attached to the back. The charge vary, which includes electronic overload protection, a power meter, an integrated RCD Type B, and an embedded SIM. Front cover, installation kit, and manuals. Insert the two ends of the included tool into the two openings. Pull until the front cover comes loose. Push the connector forcefully upwards until the charge battery disconnects. With Easy Home, you can mount up to three chargers on the same circuit. Use the screws in the installation kit and appropriate wall plugs. Turn off the power before continuing. We recommend using a three-phase cable to make the installation ready for future use. The product is designed for cable entry at the top. It is taken into account that water can enter if the gaskets do not seal completely. The cable entry can also be from the back or the bottom. Fit the sealing plug. Strip back all cable cores, allowing 12 mm exposed conductor. If the cable has flexible conductors, it is recommended to use cable end sleeves on all wires. Secure the sheath of the cable with the strain relief. Close all holes not used for cable entry with the blind sealing plugs. Follow these instructions to connect the backplate to different power grids. TN1 phase, TN3 phase, IT1 phase, IT3 phase. Tighten the screws with a torque of 5 Newton meters. Inspect all terminals before mounting the electronics. If you have more than one charging robot, each termination port can be used as a connection point for chargers on the same circuit. The units will automatically shift between faces when they are connected to the same fuse and a three-phase cable. When all backplates are prepared, the power can be turned on. If your installation has more than two charging robots, start with inserting a charge battery into the backplate in the center of the installation. Push the charge battery hard downwards until you hear a click. A yellow light will now flash at the bottom of the light strip to indicate that the charge battery is ready to be configured. After configuration, this backplate will become the master. The charge battery installed in this backplate will always have two white LED lights lit when in standby. Start the configuration by holding down the touch button for 5 seconds and the light strip turns green. The charger has now started sharing its local Wi-Fi network. Use a smartphone to connect to the EC Wi-Fi network. If you are unable to connect, try activating flight mode on your phone but keep Wi-Fi turned on and then try again. Open the browser and enter 192.168.4.1. Choose your language. You are now asked to enter your PIN code. This is found on the front of the charge battery. Fill in values for the main fuse, circuit fuse, and circuit number. Complete this stage by entering your company name and phone number. The charging robot has an integrated eSIM that automatically connects it to the internet if there is coverage. However, by connecting it to your local Wi-Fi network, you will get all new updates faster and have instant live data when using the EC app. If you only have one charging robot, the configuration of the backplate is now done. If you have several, the remaining backplates must also be programmed. Start by moving the configured charge battery to the next empty backplate and wait for the light strip to turn green. Repeat this for all empty backplates on the same circuit. All backplates must be programmed in order for the load balancing to work. Secondary units will have one white LED lit when in standby. When all backplates are programmed, plug in the remaining charge batteries or leave some empty to establish an easy ready installation. At any time in the future, an EC ready installation can be upgraded to a full featured charging robot in just a few minutes without the use of an electrician.
Each pin code sticker is then pasted to the back of the user guide or in another safe location, for instance, on the inside of the fuse cabinet door. It is possible, but optional, to lock the charge battery. Hang the front cover at the top of the back plate and let it fall into place. Press the front cover above the connector until you hear a click. Bend the lower part of the rubber cover outwards and screw in the last screw. Take it easy 